Hi, my name is Tony, and I'm a sophomore majoring in computer science here at the University of New Hampshire, and I work here at the UNH Interoperability Lab. Here at the lab, I test and certify DSL and GFast devices using our software Test Sentinel. And in today, we're going to do a brief overview of our software Test Sentinel. Test Sentinel is also available commercially, so you can test in your own lab. Now, Test Sentinel is a suite of test tools that provides for automated DSL and GFast testing, easy control and profile management on DSLAMs and DPUs, as well as traffic controlling and much more. So let's begin. Test Sentinel is launched as a regular Windows application, and when it's launched, you'll be presented with the start page providing a range of testing tools provided by the program. The core part of Test Sentinel is the automated testing engine, which we'll go into now. Within the testing engine, we'll select what we want to test. For instance, I'm going to be running an ID337 issue 1 GFAST test. So I'll select the DPU I wish to test, along with which ports I wish to test on, the modem that I'll be testing, and then I'll select the test suite. Test Sentinel supports a variety of tests, ranging from simple DSL tests such as TR114 up to the GFAST testing such as ID337 issue 1. For now, I'll select that test and select the sections that I wish to run in the second box that appears. I'll then write in some test notes, and I can proceed to the second tab of the automated test engine. From this tab, I can select all the equipment that the test will be running with, such as the AWG, Spectrum Analyzer, and Traffic Generator. I can then optionally configure some things, such as what profiles to use for which sections, as well as training times that are allowed. This is really useful for debugging purposes. After this, we can proceed to the third tab of the test engine, where we can simply enter in who is testing the devices and click the Start button to begin the test. Once the test has begun, it will show you the current section and point that the test is running, and we'll see logs down below of each device as well as what the test is currently performing. Once the test is completed, we can go to the Test Sentinel reporting system, which will list all the tests that have been run within Test Sentinel. I'll click on the test that I ran, and this will show me all of the sections that I ran along with the results, whether they passed or failed. If I wish to view more information on a section, all I have to do is select it. By clicking on a section, this will bring me to a detailed results view of that section. This includes the pass and fail metrics and why the test passed or failed, as well as any graphs that might be useful in your analysis with these sections. From here, we'll return to the start page of Test Sentinel where we can access the other tools available from within the program. For instance, we'll check out the CO device interface. From within this interface, I can select whatever DSLAM or DPU I wish to control and click Login. After this, I can enter in the ports that I wish to control. I'll enter in two ports here, and from here, I can do a range of options per port or for all the ports at once. I can do things such as set the admin status or check the admin and training status for the lines, or I can go ahead and set a profile. For here, I'll set a standard DPU profile that is provided for you within Test Sentinel to the support of the DPU. You can also create, save, and load your own profiles. After a profile is set, we can continue with the other options such as checking the line measurements or checking the performance counters for a line. And this is really helpful for debugging in multiple situations. Test Sentinel also contains an array of other tools that will help in debugging your devices, such as interfaces that allow for easy traffic controlling or setting for impairments. These tools will help you easily debug in a range of situations. For more information on Test Sentinel, feel free to visit the link above. Thank you very much for watching this quick introduction on Test Sentinel, and I'll see you later.